Hey everybody, welcome to another video. This is Andrew Earthrise and uh, today I have a treat for you. Uh, we'll be discussing the Louisiana Spanish Cajuns or Louisiana Spanish Creoles, whichever appellation that you give them. Um, you may not know this, but there is there are Spanish people that have lived in Louisiana and still do live in Louisiana. Uh, and we'll find out who they are. So, there are three principal groups of Spanish Cajuns, Spanish Creoles, in Louisiana. The first is the Isleños. The Isleños are the most famous of all the Spanish Creoles in, the, uh, in Louisiana. Uh, they live in St. Bernard Parish on the Isle of Orleans, and uh, they host many festivals about their culture. The second is going to be the Brulis, and they live in uh, New Iberia. They live around the Cajun country, especially New Iberia, and uh, Spanish Lake in that area. Now, the third is going to be the most ancient, the earliest arrived uh, Spanish group. This will be the Adaiseños. And the Adaiseños, uh, the Adaiseños actually held for, the, for uh, the longest time the first capital of the Spanish province of Texas. So they were the first capital of Texas. And they're all the way up north over in um, Nashitosh, Nashitosh, Nashitosh. And uh, today we're going to be learning the Adaiseño dialect of uh, Span uh, Louisiana Spanish, uh, Espanol Luisianis. Uh, but like I said, there are three groups. The Isleños of the Isle of Orleans, the Brulis of Cajun country, and they live in Nueva, uh, New Iberia, Nueva Iberia, like we have written here on this photo. And then we have uh, the Adaiseños who live up all the way up in the north in Nachitosh. And uh, why do we call them Cajuns or Creoles? Uh, the ones that live in Cajun country, they're called Spanish Acadians or Cajuns. Uh, in Spanish, they call them Acadianos or uh, yeah, Españoles Acadianos or Brulis. Españoles Acadianos. Uh, they're called Cajuns there because they're in Cajun country, Spanish Cajuns. And then you have the Creoles that the Spanish Creoles that are the Adaiseños and the uh, Creoles from New Orleans and the reason why they're called Creoles uh, the reason why they're called Creoles is that Creole is a term that refers to the uh, the colonial culture or the uh, the culture that was created in Louisiana it's not the culture from Europe that's how that's the word that they used for the difference and how they say that in Spanish is Españoles Españoles uh, Criollos, 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 and these are Spanish Creoles. And uh, all of these Spanish people are called Luisianeses, uh, which is uh, Louisianians, Louisianians, or uh, we could make a more specific, we could make it more specific, we say Spanish Louisianians, Los Luisianeses. And uh, these are the Spanish of Louisiana. And uh, you can see here on this sign, it says uh, Calle de los Franceses, Rue de Francais, here in New Iberia, Louisiana, down in Cajun country. Um, but moving on from that, we're gonna learn some greetings. So let's learn these greetings. Um, and the word for greetings in Spanish is la salut in uh, Spanish, uh, Louisiana Spanish is going to be las salutaciones. This means the greetings or salutations. Um, and the first greeting is going to be buenos dias, buenos dias. And this means hello. Uh, it's like in French where we say bonjour. Buenos dias, hello. <laughs> uh, and then let's say someone says buenos dias to you. What are you going to say to him? You're going to say how how you doing? And in uh, Adaiseño Spanish, all the way up here in the north near Nachitosh, uh, we they say "Como andas vos?" "Como andas vos?" And "Como andas vos?" This means uh, "How are you going?" Literally, and it's uh, it's kind of like the French "Comment allez-vous?" "Comment allez-vous?" 
Comment allez-vous? Comment andas, comment andas vos? Uh, comment allez-vous? And this means how are you going or uh, in good English, it's how are you doing? Uh, and then the response to that is going to be Yo ando muy bien, gracias. Yo ando muy bien, gracias. This means I am going very well, thanks. I'm going very well, thanks. And the French uh, analog to that would be Je vais très bien, merci. I'm going very well, thanks. Or I'm doing very well. I'm doing very well. And uh, after you ask the person how they're doing and they respond to you, how are you going to end that conversation? You're going to say, adios, adios. And this means to God. And in Cajun French, in Louisiana French, we say adieu, adieu. Uh, like in the phrase, I bid you adieu. And this means goodbye, adios, adieu. And uh, very good. So we're going to look at the uh, Adaisenos for a second. And this is a bigger map of uh, Cajun country, which we call Acadiana. The Isle of Orleans, which we call Greater New Orleans, and then the other provinces. So up here is where Natchitoches is, uh, where the, that's where the Adaisenos live. Then below here is Cajun country, that's where the Brulees live. And the Islenos are the most famous. They live here in New Orleans, on the Isle of Orleans. And uh, there is actually a web page about the Adaisenos, uh, if you want to look into it. It's called Los Adais. And here's an Adaisenia. Well, isn't she beautiful? And she's, uh, she's wearing a, a customary Spanish, uh, Louisiana Spanish clothing. Um, and uh, moving on from that, we're going to look at, the, at a conversation. So this is the conversation between two, uh, sp uh, two Spanish people. One is a Spanish Creole and another is a Spanish Cajun. Um, the Spanish Creole is called Seigneur Beltran and the Spanish Cajun is called uh, Seigneur Thibodeau. So we're going to continue from there. So at the very beginning, we have um, Seigneur Beltran. He says, Buenos dias, Seigneur. Hello, sir. Como vos vos llamas? Uh, how are you called? Hello, sir. How are you called? Como vos vos llamas? And this is how do you call yourself, literally. Uh, it's like saying uh, in French, Como uh, vous appelez-vous? How do you call yourself? How are you called? And uh, Señor Thibodeau, he says, Yo me llamo Jean-Pierre Thibodeau. I am called... Uh, Jean-Pierre Thibodeau and he says oh Jean-Pierre Thibodeau and he says but he doesn't hear it correctly maybe his ears aren't working so Seigneur Beltran replies replies he says encore this is a French word uh, but in uh, Spanish uh, Louisiana Cajun Spanish Louisiana Creole Spanish there are a lot of French words because French was the prestige language of Louisiana. When these Spanish people wanted to get good jobs, they learned French. And it's the easiest language for them to, for them to learn because these are two, uh, we call them romance languages. These are two languages that are share, that share a lot of vocabulary, a lot of the same grammar. So he says, encore, that means again, encore, like you say, hey, encore up on stage. You say, encore. Again, how are you called? Como vos vos llamas? How are you called? And then Señor Thibodeau, he says, Yo me llamo Jean-Pierre Thibodeau. He says, I am called Jean-Pierre Thibodeau. <laughs> Thibodeau. Very good. And then Señor Beltran, he understands. So he says, Aha! He says, Aha! <laughs> Aha! And then he asks, where are you from? He says, de donde venis vos? And in French, we would say, d'où venez-vous? Uh, where are you from? Or where do you come from? Where do you come from? De donde venis vos? And Señor Thibodeau, he says, yo vengo del país acadiano. He says, I come from Cajun country. Del país acadiano. Yo vengo del país acadiano. And then Señor Bertrand, he wants to know more. So he says, Vos venis de que villa? 
And uh, in French we say, uh, and this means, uh, you, you come from, from which town? In Cajun French, in Louisiana French, we say uh, ville for a town. So we say in, in Spanish, it's been, it, in Louisiana Spanish, it became uh, Villa. So we say, Vos venis de que Villa? You come from which town? And Senor Thibault, though, he says, Yo vengo de Nueva Iberia, y vos? Yo vengo de Nueva Iberia, y vos? And this means, I come from New Iberia. And you? He says, I come from New Iberia, and that's in Cajun country. This is the place that we saw at the very beginning. This here image is from Cajun country here in New Iberia, Louisiana. Um, he says, I'm, I come from New Iberia, and you? And then uh, Senor Beltran, Senor Beltran, he says, Yo vengo de la Villa de la Croix, de la Croix, en la Isla de Orleans. Now this all means, I come from the town uh, from De La Croix Town, De La Croix Town, on the Isle of Orleans. He says, I come from the, Yo vengo de la Villa De La Croix in la Isla de Orleans. I come from the De La Croix Town on the Isle of Orleans. Now, where is De La Croix on the Isle of Orleans? Let's find out. De La Croix, Louisiana. All right, we're gonna find that on a map. So De La Croix is right here. It's a little bit outside of the city of New Orleans. Uh, and it's in St. Bernard Parish, I believe. Uh, but it's down here. This is where the Islanos live. So he comes from De La Croix, De La Croix, Louisiana. De La Croix, Louisiana. Uh, and then Senor Thibodeau, he says, Como vos vos llamas, Senor? He says, what does this mean again? How are you called? Como vos vos llamas, senor? How are you called? Sir? Como vos vos llamas, senor? And senor Beltran, he says, Yo me llamo Henry Beltran. He says, I am called Henry Beltran. I am called Henry Beltran. Very good. And this is just a, uh, a sample dialogue of Louisiana Spanish, uh, Cajun Spanish, Louisiana Creole Spanish. The specific dialect is the one from the Adaisenos. This is the most unique one. The most beautiful one comes from the original capital of Texas, uh, Spanish Texas. And it comes from uh, Ad Los Adais, which is very close to Nachitosh today. Um, and we want to find out how to conjugate a verb now. Now, conjugating a verb, what this means is you're going to be changing the endings of a verb. Now, we have the verb andar. And this is how we asked, how's it going? How's it, how you doing in French? We say, como andas vos? Uh, yo ando muy bien, gracias. Ando, andar. Andar is the root verb. And this means to go, andar. So, to say andar, uh, and we're going to actually learn the the pronouns first. So the first pronoun in Adaiseño Spanish is going to be yo. And yo means I. The next one is vos. This means you. Uh, so yo, I, vos, you. And then we have el and ella. This means he, she, el, and then ella. And then we have vosotros, vosotras. This means you all, y'all, you all, vosotros, vosotras. And what's the difference between vosotros and vosotras? Vosotros is for men, while vosotras is for women. And then we have nosotros, nosotras. Nosotros means we or we all, we. And uh, nosotras, the same thing, nosotros, nosotras, the same thing as vosotros, vosotras. The O is, the os is going to be for men, as is going to be for women. And uh, in Cajun French, in Louisiana French, we say uh, vous autres, vous autres, and this all means y'all. So this is French, vous autres, this is the influence that the French language has had on our unique exotic Louisiana Spanish, antique, 
it's very beautiful and I hope this can be this can live forever or it can live for uh, quite a bit more time because uh, unfortunately our Spanish uh, people are becoming quite old now uh, vous autres in, in Louisiana French we say nous autres this means we or we all vous autres you all nous autres we all and the same thing for vous vous means you in French vous so this is the this is the um, this is going to be the the influence of French, Louisiana French on Spanish. And then the last pair of pronouns we have is ellos, ellas. This means they. And again, the O, S, os. Ellos is for they masculine. Ellas is for they feminine. Got it? So we're going to learn how to say andar using these pronouns. So to say I go or I'm going, you say yo ando. I am going. Uh, to say you go, we say vos and thus, you're going. To say he, she goes, we say el, we're going to just use he for this one. We say el anda, he goes. Vos and thus, yo ando, el anda, el anda. Uh, and then we have vosotros, this means you all, y'all. Y'all are going. Vosotros and thais. Vosotros and thais. Say it with me. Vosotros and thais. Then we have nosotros. Nosotros andamos. We all or were going. Nosotros andamos. And the last one is ellos, ellas. This time we're going to use ellas. Ellas. That means all those girls. Ellas. Andan. They're going. They're going. So this is uh, Louisiana Cajun Spanish, Louisiana Creole Spanish. It's all the same. Uh, but I will say that the dialects are different depending on where you go. Today we learned Adaiseño Spanish, most in, most interesting, the most unique. Uh, Brulis and Isleños, their dialects are a bit similar too, but these are all Louisiana Spanish. Um, and uh, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up, a like, and a subscribe. There's going to be more content like this. And uh, if you do consider it, please look under the Patreon. This will help me immensely to help give you this beautiful education of our Louisiana culture. So I thank you very kindly. And until the next video, my dear friends, au revoir, adios.